But now every classroom has a bucket like this in there because we go into lockdown and we're locked in our classrooms for extended periods of times while the situation is dealt with. So I watched a video earlier and it's like this teacher with a bucket and the bucket has like like a toilet like a plastic toilet lid on it and it's just ridiculous okay because he's talking about how if there's an active school shooter they're gonna go into lockdown and they might be in lockdown for such a long amount of time that a student might have to utilize this bucket and he he okay so let, let's start with the, the first issue there. He's like, we might go into lockdown until the situation is dealt with. How long does it take to deal with an active shooter? Honestly, it, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes tops to deal with an active shooter. And I mean that, like, like take things into consideration, okay? The, the police should be able to show up. Okay, look, the first like two minutes, the active shooter is there then like the school goes into lockdown absolutely and i'm being generous i think the school could go into lockdown in 60 seconds but let's just be generous let's say it takes two minutes to go into lockdown all right within two minutes the police should be called and everybody should be locked in the classrooms okay the police should get there so fast like what i, I don't know like i i think it's pretty reasonable to put police stations next to um high schools in fact, I actually lived somewhere where there was a police station in the parking lot of the middle school. So it's uh, having police show up in a reasonable amount of time is not an unreasonable expectation. OK, uh, and and when those cops get there within like five minutes, you know, because it's been seven minutes, two minutes to lock down five minutes for the cops to show up, th they should be flooding flooding that school with police officers ready to take down the shooter, okay? I seriously don't think that should take more than 15 minutes. There should be no reason that these kids have to use a bucket to poop in. I mean, honestly, think of the shame and embarrassment like those students have to go through if they had to, like, utilize that bucket. Honestly, that when it's not even necessary, we are more than capable of responding in a timely manner to an active shooter. I mean, look at history. Okay, there was Minutemen during the American Revolution, over a hundred, like, what? That was like in 1776? Dude, come on. Like, so if people could be prepared to respond to an attack in 60 seconds all that time ago, there's absolutely no reason to believe that we aren't capable of responding in a timely manner to a school shooter. I'm sorry, but I'm appalled that people think that locking down for hours is an acceptable solution. And inside this bucket is a variety of things that we would need to survive for an extended period of time in the classroom. It's a survival kit, you guys. This guy goes on to like pour the contents of this bucket out, right? And it's like full of toilet paper and like what appears to be MREs and baby wipes in plastic bags. And he's like, it's a survival kit, you guys. What kind of survival kit has no means of defense? Like, there's literally no means of self-defense in that bucket. Like, how? And you're calling it a survival kit. And I had somebody say to me, like, oh, well, teachers aren't police officers or soldiers or warriors or whatever. And it's like, okay, like they're still capable of defending themselves and others should need be like, I mean, honestly, if do you really want a teacher that's unwilling to sacrifice himself in order to protect your children? Like, I think it's a reasonable thing to expect a teacher to do, especially like, okay, I digress. That is not a survival kit. All that is, is a means of being dramatic and scaring people. Oh, look, look how bad our current system is. We have children prepared to sh use a bucket in the classroom around their fellow classmates because the teachers are too scared to do anything but lock themselves in a room. I mean, honestly, like we're going to sit here and act like the teachers being prepared for a school shooting wouldn't stop the school shooting 
I mean, like, like this bucket exists because you could be locked down for hours, right? Why would you be locked down for hours? It doesn't make sense, people. Especially when the teachers could be armed, you know? If the teachers are armed, a school shooting shouldn't last more than five minutes, quite frankly. Lock all the students in the, in the classrooms, do the lockdown by all means, but then the teachers need to come out and they need to, um, they need to defend the school. It's not unreasonable expectation. It's not. How many of them do you think go to work every day and have to worry about maybe pooping in a bucket because there's a shooter at their work? And, and he goes on to ask the children this asinine question. How many people do you think go to work and have to worry about pooping in a bucket if a shooter shows? None. You know why? Because as a free man, I carry a fucking firearm. All right? Like, look, I'm prepared if there's a shooter. I'm not going to go cower and hide in the corner if somebody's shooting up my workplace. I'm going to whip my pistol out and be a man. Okay? Like... I'm, I will happily sacrifice my life trying to stop a shooter, okay? And if you're not willing to do that, you're not a man. Uh, that's all there is to it, okay? Because men protect and defend, okay? That's what a man is. You, men are uh, expendable, okay? Men protect women and children, all right? So if you're not willing to protect women and children to the best of your abilities, you're not a man. You're a coward. I mean that, like seriously, like what kind of coward isn't going to be prepared to defend themselves and others should the time come? Not very many, like Not very many but you do. Everybody in this classroom does. I do. That's the reality of school in America. No, that should not be the reality of school in America. Like the only reason that's the reality of school in America is because you're too much of a coward to carry a handgun. I mean, honestly, like... Uh, look, okay, I'll, granted, at the end of the video, you say some really vague thing about, like, contacting Congress and, like, trying to make a change, but I'm a little skeptical that the change you're referring to is carrying guns in the classroom, like, teachers being armed and prepared. So, I mean, honestly, like, don't sit there and act like you're not part of the problem if you're not willing to defend those students with your life. Okay, like you, you care about those students hardly if you d aren't willing to sacrifice your life to protect them. I mean, honestly, people. These are so I can cover up bodies if I need to. Of so you don't have to see them. And, and then he goes on like, oh, I have these like blankets to cover up bodies if I have to. Do you really want to live in a, do you want to utilize a system in which your child may have to put a blanket over their dead best friend because their teacher was too much of a coward to go and take things into their own hands and stop the school shooter like like because the teacher was not prepared like your child's gonna have to sit next to their dead best friend i mean honestly that's the system that we've been reduced to we're better than that people how are you not insulted and disgusted by that I mean, listen, people, we had Minutemen during the American Revolution in 1776. Like, men who were dedicated to being prepared for an attack in 60 seconds. There, why, why don't we still... Look, okay, look, I'm throwing down the gauntlet, okay? Um, I'm willing to organize a corporation or a business, whatever you want to call it, a group of mercenaries, whatever. A group of people who are willing to be ready in two minutes notice get to the school and live in a, the general vicinity of the school so they can be there in less than 10 minutes if need be and show up and take care of things because clearly the police aren't going to if they're going to lock down the school for hours i mean honestly the, the school shooting should not take more than 15 minutes to take care of honestly and i honestly think it's arguable it could take less than 10. they should be upset that these buckets exist you bet your ass I'm upset this bucket exists. The whole reason I'm upset this bucket exists is because you won't do everything in your power to protect those children. What kind of man are you? You're not a man. You're a coward, okay? Because all you're going to do if an active shooter shows up is lock the doors and cower in the corner. You know what a man does? A man understands that he's expendable, okay? Okay. A man is willing to lay down his life for children and women. 
And if a teacher who is a man is not willing to do that, then they shouldn't be a teacher at all. Okay, because th there's no reason our children should be subjected to utilizing a, le a poop bucket around each other. They should not be reduced to that. Th there's so many ways that we can solve that with... Honestly, honestly.